Good morning, everybody. I'm here in Beirut, Lebanon. Very excited to uh, travel around this country, see what is going on. I'm currently in my Airbnb. You might see that there is actually a visitor. And for the first time ever, I'm actually traveling with somebody. You know, like all of my trips have been solo for the past oh, few yeah. years. So <laughs> finally. I've, I've never watched a Luke Demar video with someone else in it. So, so we got Mac here uh, from World No Mac. So you'll be seeing a lot more of him over the next couple of weeks as we travel through uh, Lebanon. We're gonna head out. Uh, we have to exchange some money on the black market because that is how you get the best value for your dollar uh, here. So I bought a, uh, a couple of the good old Benjamins. Well, that's not a Benjamin. Here's a Benjamin, $100 US bill. So we'll get that exchange on the black market, get the best rate here, and uh, we'll go and see what our first day here in Lebanon is like. So let's do it. Oh yeah, also, we're on the sixth floor, and of course, the, uh, the elevator, unfortunately, does not work. <laughs> but, yeah, let's head on down to the streets of Lebanon, chat to some locals, buy some cool things, and uh, just see what uh, local life is like here in Beirut. Alright okay, guys, so we were speaking uh, to uh, a local coffee shop owner, we got a couple of iced coffees. Let me actually quickly show you, this is the receipt, so this is the kind of like, just how unbelievable this currency situation is. So 52,000 Lebanese uh, pounds on the black market, that's around $2.50. Whereas uh, if you're paying in USD, you're paying $34 for two coffees. And that's why nobody here uses their credit card or debit card, everything's done with cash. Hello, Salam alaikum. I don't know if he was angry at me uh, filming or he was curious, but apparently this way is uh, where we can uh, get some cash and get our USC exchanged on the black market. Thank you. Hello, how are you? Hello. You are uh, exchange USD for lira? Yeah, one what is the rate today? One minute. How much? Or you say one minute? All right. Wow, four million. What is the rate for USD? Uh, 200. For, for one USD? 100, 20. 100 dollars. 100 dollars? 100. 2 million, 100. Ah, 2 million, ah, okay, yeah. All right, you think that's a good rate? Because you, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, I mean, I think it's probably the best that we can. 2.1 versus 2.2. You got 22. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, think that will yeah. be fine. Uh, there we are. 100? Yeah, one. Oh, actually, um, maybe we just get 50, 50 USD. 50? And that have small. Yo, you don't have change? Oh, okay, 100. We go the full Benjamin. Okay. 100. <laughs> oh, wow. So this is it. This is where you just kind of exchange money. Um, yeah, this is this is your son, uh, your father. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nice, perfect. Twenty-one fifty, twenty-one hundred and fifty. All right. Should probably shouldn't be flashing my money out on the streets, <laughs> yeah, exactly. but this is just like such a bizarre experience. I know. Again, I've never experienced like. Just for context, yeah. the official bank rate. One USD is 1,500 yeah. Lebanese lira. We're getting over 20,000 for one US dollar. So, look, my wallet doesn't even fold. What's your name? Your name? Nasser. Nasser. We will come back to you. Nasser, what is your name? Sana. Sana. You are your husband and wife? Your wife? Ah. Aj. Perfume. Yeah. For for perf perfume for me? Yeah. <laughs> you have you have men's deodorant? Men? Yeah. Oh you have. Maybe we'll have to check out her store later on. Alright guys, me and Mac are now officially millionaires. Yes, uh, here, <laughs> here in <laughs> Lebanon, I've reached my life goal. Yeah. Uh, but now that we have a bit of cash, we're gonna go and get some local food, get a, a traditional Lebanese breakfast. I'm not sure entirely what that actually is, 
but such a fascinating experience you know not really on the black market because it's literally just a normal currency exchange place but so fascinating being able to go to a different place and get basically 15 times what the official cash rate is it's just like a very yeah very bizarre yeah. very bizarre concept well, lebanese food very good yeah very, food. very good food Full, you want yeah lebanese you want, yes you want yeah. to where you from where i'm from australia australia and the united states that's before lebanese yeah yeah exactly my, na my name is ahmad ahmad man nice, nice, to, nice meet to meet you. you where can we where can we find food yes full you want food pool. you want to eat yes i know i know yeah where me lebanese here street that way left 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 near barbar near near left near left Lebanese pool. Lebanese pool. pool. Hummus and food. Oh, I love that. The good uh, for you. Yeah. Because you're all right, we go with him. Oh, sweet. All right. <laughs> I want to go in Australia. Come. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, no, Scado because you're a beautiful face. Because I want to go in Australia. No, a shop to close. Oh, Bye -bye. your shop. Is, yes. This is your shop. Oh, what is this it's test or something. Oh, nice one. Yes. Oh, man. Nice oh, one. Nice yes. one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one for you, one for you. No, we're, we're okay. Because I want to go in Australia. Ah, it's tempting, but I don't know. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm sorry. Oh, it's test or sample. Chanel, it is real or yeah. it is fake? Original. It's Original. It's test or sample because I want to go in Australia. Yeah, I don't think perfume is going to get you into Australia. It's Chanel though. and the Christian Dior. Yeah. Tell us. Oh, and we're, we're, looking, we're looking for food. Yes. Food. Hey, this is for you, my friend. Yeah. This is for you. Oh, we, we do not need perfume. We want, yeah, uh, uh, we want food. Money. I have to see, baby. <laughs> Uh, we're, we're good, we're good, man. We're good. I'm good on the perfume, no pass. I'm good on the perfume, no pass. Give me anything, money, Australia. Yeah. Give me anything, Lebanese. Oh, oh, uh. We want, we want food. Yes. Yeah, we yes. go get food. Yeah. Let's go grab some food, yeah. Max. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Funny guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. There's a couple of restaurants. Yeah, we had a couple of options here. Where's the most local? I don't even know what a Lebanese breakfasting uh, yeah. includes. I still haven't figured that out. You have a, a, a menu? Uh, menu or no. oh, what, what, what do you have? Do you have uh, what is the traditional Lebanese breakfast? What? what? Manamish. Cheese. Oh. Zatar. Manush. Oh, it is yeah. good. It is tasty. Yeah. Nice. Beer, meat, beef. Lachmajin. Oh. Onion and basal. Yum. Oh, that sounds delicious. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we get two? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah, two of those, please. Cheese and yeah, cheese. Oh, perfect, perfect. What do want? Cheese and zata? Uh, that sounds good, yeah. Let's one, do it. Two. Yeah, one, one, two, one, two, two. Two plus, yeah. Two. What do you want? Drink, Pepsi, yeah. Sibana? Uh, I'll juice, take a water, fresh. bottle of water. One. Two, two water. Okay, yeah. thank you. What is your name? Zata, yeah? Yeah, cheese and zata. Okay. What is your name? Fadi. Fadi, nice Fadi. to meet you. Hello, Sada. You are the, you are the yeah. owner? Oh, you are owner? Your, your, your restaurant? Nice. Thank you, man. All right, guys, so we just got money exchanged. Um, and just like that is, that's around 100 USD uh, worth. So I find it just so fascinating how uh, like such, you know, an economic situation can just be like, you know, can lead to, you know, being able to go to the black market, just a local exchange office and getting 15 to 20 times more um, bang for your buck. Because as I said, the, the current USD to uh, Lira rate is around at one USD to 1,500. But when you go to the black market, it's anywhere between 20,000. And I'm sure when you're seeing uh, this video, it could be even higher as uh, Lebanon goes into more of, of an economic crisis. But I always do a good old bank note review. So we only have two, um, two of these at the moment. So this is a hundred thousand Lebanese lira. It is approximately worth five USD if you were to get this on the black market. But if you were to pay something for a hundred thousand lira in your credit card, it would be upwards of eighty dollars. That just gives uh, a bit of perspective as to you know how the currency situation is here, uh, and you know kind of the difficulties that it brings for the local people earning the local local currency obviously as a, as a tourist and as a foreigner it's very good because we're able to get and make use of the the usd uh, exchange rate but we are going to indulge in uh, some traditional lebanese food i'm excited oh nice is this it i don't know oh this this is the food this is this is it oh wow look how cool this place is they got the, uh, oh wow, 
Oh, that is it. Oh, this mix cheese and zaatar. Wow, that looks delicious. That is amazing. Wow, you guys know I love cheese. Cheese and zaatar. Yeah, You guys know how much I love cheese, uh, and especially when it's on some kind of bread. So I'm gonna absolutely indulge into this. All right, guys, here we have jibme mazata. Oh God, yeah, yeah. the the pronunciations of Arabic is insane. Do do you eat with your hands or you eat with? No, this. Uh, oh, you cut. Okay, so yeah, this, uh, you do. Uh, oh, you, oh, you can rip it like that. Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. Okay. Ah, it's like. Oh, it is cut yeah. into 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 quarters. Oh, like, like pizza. It's like pizza. Yeah, no pizza. <laughs> <laughs> the good pizza. pizza sauce, tomato, <laughs> um, well, let's give yeah. this a, a, a taste test. So. A ton of cheese. You, you mix with vegetables. Ah, okay. Let's put some of that. Get some tomatoes. Uh, Mint nana. Nana. All right. Well, let's get all that on there, and we'll get a big, big bite and see. First meal here in Lebanon. Ho oh. ho. Wow. Man. Oh yeah. Good. The cheese is so nice. Good, yeah. How do you say good in Arabic? Yeah. Amazing in Arabic. The uh, word. Amazing. The word for er in, uh, amazing, good, delicious in Arabic. Yeah. Very nice. But yeah, it's like very similar to like pizza. Kind of you have the, the dough at the bottom there, but the cheese and that is good. And I'm not entirely sure like what the other part is. Maybe I think it's a bit of a bit of beef that he said but like so crispy on the top there. Mmm, man. That's a good stuff. The cheese is delicious. Oh, hell yeah. It is so good. <laughs> Alright guys, just look how delicious this is. Like, you know how obsessed I am with cheese. I keep going on about it in this video, but this is just honestly next level. Little bits of uh, quartered up, delicious bite sizes. Um, Man, give me cheese on anything and I'm a happy man. That's all that I need in life. A bit of cheese, a bit of a, a bread, you know, all that good stuff. This is uh, absolutely delicious. I'm not entirely sure what this brown kind of stuff is, but it has a very uh, distinct salty flavor. Instead of just having the good old cheese and kind of bread taste, you get you know, a big hit of salt, a big hit of savory juiciness. <laughs> Bam. I'm in heaven. Very rare occasion that you'll see me eating uh, vegetables on its own, but I think it's a mint, right? I don't even know if you, you eat mint by itself, but I'm gonna, gonna do it for fun because it smells delicious. <laughs> You're not meant to eat mint by itself, I don't think. I don't think so, but it's oh. got a nice flavor. Yeah, it's got a really nice flavor. Yeah. Oh. It's, like, it's like I'm chewing gum. That's yeah, delicious. <laughs> All right, that's all. That's my veggies done for the whole trip. I'm, I'm a healthy man now. Now I can get back into uh, the carbohydrates, back into the protein. Mm. <laughs> what is the What is the price? Hesab. How much? Uh, ah, fifty. All right. What's the total run? Fifty thousand. That's perfect. Okay. Great. So this cocktail. Yeah, perfect. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Thank you. Come here, come here. I asked, uh, it wasn't on camera, but I just asked a, a couple of locals where I can get a SIM card because obviously that's an important part for uh, me always having internet. And uh, I thought it, we were just going to go that, down that way and do it myself, but this kind man has uh, decided to help us out. So much appreciated. Thank you, man. You're a kind guy. What's your name? Muhammad. Muhammad? Yeah. Thanks, bro. Legends, man. People are actually super kind here. We've been walking around Beirut for about an hour or so. Very, like, good vibes, you know? Obviously, I've been to enough countries and read, like, enough news articles to realize that, number one, the news is just, like, complete, absolute, utter crap because, you know, they always just show case of negatives and especially if you're looking at news on Lebanon at the moment everything's just so negative but like you come out onto the streets it's not anything like they say on the uh, on the news obviously because the news has a tendency to always show the negatives but it's just absolutely beautiful beautiful day beautiful temperature 
beautiful water, people just chilling, you know, fishing, all that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, the, vibe, the vibes are good out here. The vibes are good. Okay, so we've been walking about five or so kilometers. If I had have known how far we actually had to walk, we probably uh, would have gotten an Uber or taxi, but look at the damage on this side of uh, the, the explosion. You know, this whole building completely derelict. All of these buildings just completely hit by that massive explosion, which is just on the other side of uh, this wall here. So the, the area that we were at before, where it was very modern, that area was very protected because there were a couple of silos uh, right near the port that actually, you know, protected that area from the blast. It supposedly held around one year's worth of uh, food or one year's worth of wheat or something along the lines of that. Uh, but this side, this is the one that didn't have that big protection of those silos. And you can really tell the difference. All the buildings still hit. Like, look at, look at this right here, completely blasted. Like, this is iron metal. This is like, this stuff like should, wow, man. Look at that, that's surreal. Wow. So those are the silos I was talking about. They protected a lot of the, yeah. the other side, but all of this damage here. Like these are steel beams. These are iron beams. They're not meant to, to bend under, you know, unless there's excessive amounts of, of force or pressure. So yeah. Wow, look, you can just like see. Very, very surreal. Oh, I tripped. Very surreal being here just seeing all this this damage even you know a year onwards these iron shipping containers completely bent like that just uh so much damage it's uh it's just very like very surreal being here and just seeing like that is literally like where it happened right there insane man so such a such an eerie feel Hello. Hi. Hello, how's it going? How long have you been an Uber driver for here in Lebanon? Almost six years. Six years. Since they start here, I'm with them. Ah, oh, nice. Are you, are you finding it difficult now with the, now, yeah, the, fuel, the fuel shortage? You have to... A little bit, little bit yeah. difficulties with the, with the petrol. With the... Yeah. So how long do you have to wait to get petrol? You have Tell to... you the truth today, I wait. From 5 till 9.30 a.m. Four and a half hours? Four and a half hours to fill it. Wow. I, I, I continue my sleep here in this station here. There. Oh, wow. And you can only, you get a full tank or half? Yeah, I yeah, full. They give me a full, but I give a tip. What, what is the longest that you've had to wait in line for fuel? For fuel? For, for, for petrol, for gas. You Not know, the worst. Yeah. The worst thing is to wait like four or five hours and when you arrive, there was still no more. No, so you have to go That's, somewhere else. Yeah. And that, that happens often? Yeah, yeah. It really? Happens, yeah, it happens. It happens to most of the people sometimes. Wow. I'm, 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 I'm really willing to leave. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So you've been here since 1975? Yeah, 1975. Since the beginning of the civil war here, I was here. So you'd say even now is worse overall than back during the civil war? Yeah. yeah. Wow. More worse. There you go. Thank you so Thank much. You very much. Yeah. Be careful. Have a great day. See you. you, too. you too. Wow, very uh, insightful conversation we had there. It's like very you know, eye opening to see the, the situation and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, very, uh, very insightful. That's what I mean, man. See, going to local life, hearing the, the local stories and hearing the insights. That guy's been here since 1975 and he says even the Civil War. Uh, the, the state in which Lebanon is at now is worse than the, the Civil War many years ago. So, very insightful. Uh, and uh, it's how you learn about different places. Take perfume, give me, give me, give we don't me need perfume. The, we don't need the perfume. I know that, sadly I don't need any perfume right now, boss. Any country? Any country. Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm trying my best to go to Canada. I don't think I can go to US anymore. Okay. It's difficult. Difficult. Yeah. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Cheers. Alright, we're at the local coffee shop. We got the uh, beautiful specialty iced coffee, but look, I'm gonna keep going on about kind of like the currency exchange because number one, I find it very fascinating. I think it will be fascinating for a lot of people, but this just really goes into perspective. You saw earlier, we uh, basically got uh, 21,000 Lebanese pounds for uh, one USD. So when you're paying in Lebanese pounds, this is around one USD for, for this. However, if you're paying you know, with card, then you're gonna be charged the, the rate that the government sets, which is currently pegged to the US dollar at 1,500 Lebanese pounds. So you can imagine if you're paying 26,000 pounds at the, the government rate uh, of the USD currency, uh, you're gonna be charged $17.33 just for this iced coffee. So, I mean, it's no Starbucks, but uh, you could be paying the price of Starbucks if you're paying in the wrong currency. So let's give it a taste test. Mm. God, it is actually, this is delicious. One of the best iced coffees I've had. Well, they have a similar, similar stuff we had this morning. Salam alaikum. Do you have a shawarma? Shawarma no. Shawarma, where can we find the best shawarma? Where? Sh shawarma? You know the best shawarma? Where is the best shawarma? Where are from? Hi. Australia. 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 United States. Okay. You, you know where the best shawarma is? Yes. Oh, thank you. From this, right, like uh, left. Left. And straight. straight. Yes. Nice bar. Barba. 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 Yes. Uh, thanks a lot. Thank you, bro. Yeah. We'll go and eat the best shawarma. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, yeah. Bro, what, what's your name? Ahmed. 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 What's your name? Yeah, uh, Mac. Mac, nice to meet Luke. you. Luke. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. What are we doing here? Just uh, tourists. Yeah. yeah. Visiting Lebanon, wanted to see, uh, visit the country and yeah. see what it's like right now. You... Yeah. Have been before in Iraq? Uh, no. No. Uh, yeah. You're from, are you from, from Iraq? Iraq. Oh, from no. Kurdistan or proper? Uh, Baghdad. 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 Nice. Kurdistan is a safety place. Yeah, nice. yeah. Go there. Oh, okay. And there is a good walk there. Yeah, yeah. Now, now you live in, in uh, just Lebanon. Vacation in Lebanon. Vacation. Oh, vacation. A vacation walk like this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, nice. 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 Thank nice you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, we got the lead for the best shawarma in all of Beirut, or maybe all of Lebanon. Yeah. Apparently, it's this way. We go straight, and it's a place called Baba, B A B A, I believe. So we'll uh, chomp into a bit of bit of shawarma after we shred off those calories from walking about 10 kilometers today. Yeah, easy. easy so 10. we need to put back on the, the protein and calories that we've lost. And a shawarma is the best way to do that. Oh no, this is Baba as well. Baba, you have a shawarma? Oh, falafel. Oh, they falafel? smell so good. Oh man. That's gonna be so <laughs> what do we want? Falafel or shawarma? No, we gotta go shawarma. Do you have shawarma? Kebab? Other one. Uh, oh, okay, thank you. Ah, oh, this one here. Oh, bro, it's, we ate here. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we came here this morning. Oh, we're back. Where's that boy? Wow, oh, it's so much busier uh, today. Uh, or shawarma? Shawarma. Like, uh... That side. Yeah, we want shawarma. The best shawarma. Oh, oh it's in here. We get right here. Oh, thank you, bro. Shawarma here. Thank you, man. We are on the way, on the road to victory for the, the greatest shawarma. Ironically, we ate here about five hours ago and we had breakfast. And you saw it would have been so, it was so empty. There was nobody here. We were the only ones. What was the price? for uh, one, two shawamas and two bottles of water? 96,000 Lebanese lira, so that's like, like five, five dollars. Bucks. Yeah, for nice. two people to eat. Oh, sorry, sorry. And they look good. They look look at that. So good, so fresh. Man, I can't get over how big like the bits of meat are. Like, yeah. I've been, I spent a lot of time in Turkey the past couple weeks and these are, these are thick. Yeah, these are juicy. These are thick boys. <laughs> yeah, it's like how, many, how many chickens do you think are out there? Probably like, maybe like 100. 40 or 50. A couple hundred chickens, oh, that's yeah, just yeah. one one big cow. Yeah, exactly. But, oh look. Oh, he has to put so much weight into turning the, turning it, but oh look how delicious that looks. <laughs> wow. He's an expert. Hello. We are getting, we are getting shawarma. 
Yeah. Number one shawarma in Lebanon. Yeah, beef now. Yeah, beef shawarma. Yeah, yeah. Had to come back. It was so good. Oh, we're done. Here it is. Oh, very nice. All right, we got our Baba shawarma. A lot of people said that this was number one, but uh, very neatly packed. We're just on the side of the street. Oh, it's oh, dripping. Sure. We're dripping everywhere. All right, <laughs> guess we got to go straight into it. But oh, look at this. Right. Flip it upside down so we don't get all the juices coming out. But look how delicious that looks, bro. That smells so. That actually smells delicious. When we when we walked straight in, I was like, man, this is like the best smelling thing ever. So we got beef uh, in there. I mean, there's no dance around the bush. Let's just get right into it. Mm. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's flopping around. Wow. We made a mess. Oh, man, <laughs> that is delicious. Look how delicious that is. Wow. Got some kind of like hummus or sauce. I don't even know. First time here in Lebanon, so I'm very clueless as to what actually is inside of this. Obviously, meat and all that kind of stuff. But the actual like wrap is very different. Very thin, as you can see. It's kind of like flaking off. But. Oh. But what? A dollar and a half. Yeah. A good meal. I mean, can't really get much better than that, right? <laughs> Absolute bargain. At least in Australia, we call it tabbouleh. Kind of like, you can see it there. It's like oh, a yeah. mixture of like, I don't actually know what the green leaf is, but tomato, a uh, bit of green, green stuff. Yeah, yeah. All mixed in. Yeah, I think tabbouleh is maybe, I don't know, that's what we call it in Australia. Who knows what <laughs> yeah. we call it? In other parts of the world. I think I've had it before and it's so yeah, good. Yeah. It's got a very like distinct taste. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, that was good. Alright, we are coming down to the last bits here. It is dripping everywhere. I'm making a mess. Oh look at that. Just dripping everywhere. <laughs> Let's get it in the mouth. <laughs> Bam! The sauce, whatever sauce it is in there. It's kind of like a, a mix between mayo and aioli. It's damn good. One last mouthful here. I think that's a. You think that's a mouthful, or you reckon two? I'd say that's that's a mouthful. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Get that's it all on the gob. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a mouthful right there. Yeah, that's a mouthful. That's wow. A, that's the full uh, swarm experience right there. <laughs> <laughs> Buckets. Buckets. Oh. <laughs> Can you open the doors? No. You have to wait until it stops, alright? Nope. <laughs> alright guys, so as you saw at the start of the video, uh, I gave like a very brief rundown of the place that me and Mac are staying at, so I just want to give like a full kind of review, I guess. Uh, this place we booked through Airbnb for 200 USD. Uh, for five nights, so obviously me and Mac are splitting that 100 uh, USD each for five nights break that down to around 20 uh, USD a night, so this is kind of kind of what you get uh, obviously like we had a big like power issue and still I don't think there is power which is not obviously you know the most convenient of things, but you know I guess this gives like a, a bit a bit of insight into the issue that Lebanon is facing with all the currency uh, economic crisis and obviously like the fuel and power shortage but we got a nice pretty area here uh, earlier when Mac arrived it was so hot inside of this place so he was like man I'm just gonna I found a mattress here just gonna chuck it down here and he chilled there until the sun rose and then uh, it was getting way too hot so uh, this is kind of like our outdoor area we got you know a nice little window to look out of obviously down to the streets of Lebanon people just live in their local life um, washing machine all that kind of stuff but again like this is actually like all this utilities is kind of useless if we don't have power which we are in the process of figuring out usually they have generators they said that they're running constantly um, so we're still trying to figure that one out as I said but got a nice little kitchen all that good stuff nice table for some dinner and into max room right here our rooms are kind of like split into two uh, with just like a, a fake wall and some clear like glass slash plastic stuff. So this is Max's room. Nice, uh, you know, just bed, cupboards, bedside table and wardrobe, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. 
We've got the la uh, lounge room, bit of couch space, and then going into my room, just the good old bed. And again, as I said, they're kind of just like split the two between uh, the middle, and this is like a split into two rooms. And uh, a little bit of inspiration there. You can do anything. But that's the apartment, everybody. It's uh, been a really fun first day here in Lebanon, trying all the local foods, chatting to the local people. Hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna finish it off here and there's gonna be so many cool stories, so many cool videos to come over the next couple of weeks here in Lebanon. So I'm really excited to share all that with you. Oh, there's a nice, nice breeze, yeah. Get on to my sweaty head. Cool me down, baby. Uh, but yeah, let's finish off the video here, everybody. As always, thank you so much for watching. Chase your dreams, and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.